Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, my children, we're going to talk about a new topic, okay? But before we get into this, let's go back to yesterday's video and see the activities that we can do in the playground. Now, as you remember, we saw four of the most common, and they were the swing, Remember, the swing is basically like a chair in which you sit down. This chair is held by two, by two chains, okay? Esta eh, tipo silla está sostenida por dos cadenitas. And basically, what you have to do is gain eh, with, your, with the strength of your legs, con la fuerza de sus piernas, y lo más santo que puedan, okay? That is the swing. Next to, we also have the hand, the hand rail. For the handrail, remember it's an activity in which you have to pass two, four, two, two by two, two by two, okay? El tubo, sostenemos otro tubo, until we reach the end of the platform, hasta que lleguemos al final de esa plataforma, okay? Next two, we also had the slide. Do you remember the slide? For this activity, remember, we have to get into a ladder, tenemos que subirnos en una resbaladilla, until we get to the top of it, hasta llegar al tope, and then we just basically have to have fun at sliding through the slide, okay? Deslizándonos a través de la resbaladilla. Remember, it's very fun, but you have to be careful because sometimes the fall can be pretty rough. A veces la caída puede ser un poquito eh, nos puede lastimar. So we have to be very careful sometimes with the slot. And finally, we have the seesaw. Remember, the seesaw, it's, a, 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 it's an activity that requires two people, requiere de dos personas, and again, with the impulse of your legs, con el impulso de sus piernas, you have to gain weight so you can go up. Tenemos que ganar peso para subir. And the other person obviously goes down. La otra persona obviamente queda abajo. And the other person has to gain weight with the legs. Tiene que impulsarse con las piernas. And in the, other, in the case of the other person goes down. So it's basically a game that requires the strength of the legs, okay? Este tipo de juego requiere el uso de piernas, de manos. So it's not just to have fun, but also to do exercise. Very good. Now, today, my children, like I mentioned, we're going to continue with the review of a brand new topic. For this, we're going to discuss animals of the sea. Remember, we already saw animals of the farm. We already discussed animals of the zoo. Today, we're going to focus, we're going to concentrate on animals of the sea. And as uh, previous topics, we have several uh, we have one of the most common animals and we're going to discuss them right now. The first animal that we have here is the most common of the entire sea. It's the fish. And as you can see here, we have a clownfish. Remember, the most common color of the clownfish, el color más común del pez payaso, it's of course color orange, like the one that appears in the movie Finding Nemo. That fish, it's color orange, but besides that, in the sea, we can find also several types of colors for the different fishes. We can find for, uh, fishes with color yellow, with color purple, with color red, with color blue, with color green. Uh, basically, any type of color that you can imagine, okay? That is the, the, the base for uh, different fishes, okay? Prácticamente, el color que ustedes imaginen, podemos encontrar peces de ese color. Next to, we have the alligator. Now, the alligator is an animal that it's common that we can find it in the sea, but also outside the sea, for example, in the sand, okay? A veces este tipo de animales no solo, no, no solo lo podemos encontrar dentro del mar, sino también en, en el exterior. So, we have to be careful because, like I mentioned, it, it's not only in the water, but sometimes can be outside the water, okay? Now, the most common color for the alligator is color green, okay? Color green, and it's one of the dangerous animals that are in the sea, okay? This is a dangerous animal because it's a meat lover. 
es un carnívoro, le gusta la carne. So sometimes, or more, in most of the cases, can eat people, puede comer a la gente. So we have to be very careful with the alligator. Next to, we have the dolphin. Now, uh, talking about animals of the sea, this is my favorite of all of this, okay? This is my favorite animal of the sea, the dolphin. Now, the dolphins are very playful, son muy juguetones. So, if one day you encounter or you play with a dolphin, it, it, it's going to be your best friend forever. Se va a convertir en su mejor amigo because dolphins, they love to play with the kids, with the people, okay? Sometimes even we can play volleyball with the dolphins. A veces hasta podemos jugar volleyball con los delfines because they love the balls, okay? Les gustan mucho las pelotas. So we have the dolphin, once again, an animal of the sea. Now, under, in the second row, we begin with the shark. Now, the shark, as in the case of the alligator, these two animals are very, very dangerous because, once again, they eat people, okay? So, when, whenever we go to swim, uh, if we enter the water, we have to be careful, always looking around uh, to find the shark because if we find it, we have to get out of the water. Si algún día encontramos un tiburón, pues tenemos que salir muy rápido del agua because they eat people, okay? Now, one of the most common colors for the shark are either color gray, pueden ser de color gris, or color blue, okay? And because they eat people, they are always angry. Siempre están enojados, they are always looking for someone to eat. Siempre están buscando a alguien a quien saborearse. So we have to be very careful with the shark. Now, next to we have the crab. Now, in the case of the crab, this is not uh, an entire dangerous animal, but once again, we have to be very careful because they have two claws, you know, those uh, garritas, that if we get, if we, we, if we uh, stand in front of the crabs, si nos ponemos en frente de un cangrejo, they can use their claws, okay, to pinch our noses or to pinch a part of the body, okay. Si nos acercamos mucho a un cangrejo, aunque no comen eh, personas, pues nos pueden lastimar con sus tenazas, con esas garras que ellos tienen. So, uh, if we are going to look them or appreciate them in the sea, si algún día los vemos y los queremos apreciar, only from a certain distance. Siempre de una cierta distancia. Remember, they are not dangerous, but uh, we have to be very careful with the crabs. Okay? And finally, we have the octopus. Now remember, the octopus is an animal of the sea, and one of the characteristics of this animal is that it contains several arms. Contiene varios brazos, y esa es una de sus características más comunes. Again, in the case of colors, the color purple is the predominant color for this animal. Okay, very good. Now, before we finish the class, my children, let's review one more time the animals of the sea. For this, remember the teacher Jacob says it first, then you have to repeat it with all of your energy and very, very loud so I can hear your pronunciation. Let's begin with the fish. Good, excellent. Alligator. Okay, one more time. Remember, with a little bit more energy. Alligator. Dolphin. Okay. Shark. You know, actually there is a very common and very famous uh, song called the baby shark, okay? Very good, it's, a, it's an interesting song. So we have the shark, the crab, okay, and finally, octopus. Excellent, very good pronunciation, my, my children. The teacher is very happy with their results. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Remember, when we uh, encounter this type of animals, some of them are friendly, but some of them, as the alligator and the shark, they are dangerous, so we have to be very careful. Take care, have an excellent day, goodbye.